In this lecture, let's go ahead and learn what exactly is a JSX. So this code, which is returned by a functional component, as well as the class component is nothing but it's called as JSX and JSX stands for JavaScript XML. So JSX is actually an extension to JavaScript language syntax. Now the question is why exactly would you use JSX instead of plain simple HTML? And the answer is quite simple. JSX allows you to write XML like code and JSX tags have attributes, tag name and children. Another best thing about JSX is that it makes your React code simpler. And also, JSX comes with full power of JavaScript, which means that inside this particular JSX code, you could also go ahead and write some JavaScript expressions. And ultimately, JSX is translated to JavaScript, which is understood by the browser. So let's take an example and let's see the power of a JSX right up over here. So what you could do here is that as we have this particular hello functional component right up over here, we could actually go ahead and embed some JavaScript expression in there. So for example, I could actually go ahead and create a variable here. So let's say I want to create a variable called as name and let's say I want to add my name here. And now let's say as this is a JavaScript variable, I want to add this variable or display this variable up over here. So in order to do that in JSX, I simply have to go ahead, use the curly braces here and type in the variable name just like that. So if I do that, and now if I go to the browser, as you can see, the expression or the JavaScript expression or the JavaScript code, which is written in there, actually gets executed up over here and henceforth we get the actual value of the name variable. So this is how we could perform some actions of combining HTML together with JavaScript using JSX or JavaScript XML. Now this thing right here was a JavaScript variable, but you could also evaluate some mathematical JavaScript expressions as well. So for example, you could say something like total is, and then simply change this thing to something like 10 plus 20. If you save that, if you go back here, as you can see, it's actually going to evaluate the total for you. So that means what you could do is that you could essentially go ahead and execute any kind of JavaScript code in there. You could also go ahead and make a function call as well inside these curly brackets right here. So let's go ahead and create a function here and let's try to execute that inside JSX or let's try to call that function here inside the JSX code. So for example, let's say I create a function called as display message. So I would say const display message. So this is a simple JavaScript arrow function. And let's say this thing returns something like I need help. So let's go ahead and make a call to that function here inside the curly brackets. So I would say display message here, use parentheses here to make a function call. And let's change this thing to the message is save this. And if I go here, as you can see, this particular function gets called here and that function returns this specific value right here. So this is how you could actually go ahead and make use of JSX to combine HTML and JavaScript together. And it actually makes your life much more easier as you could now render some dynamic data with your components. So until now we have only rendered or returned static content from your component, but now by using JSX, uh, by using various JavaScript functions and expressions, you could now make this component a little bit more dynamic. So now we have talked about what the components return, but we are yet to talk about how to pass props to these particular components. So as earlier mentioned, components are nothing but they are functions which accepts props and returns JSX. So we have understood the returning JSX part right here, but we are yet to pass in some props to these functions. So in the upcoming lecture, we will go ahead and we'll try to understand how props are passed to functional and class based components. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.